Hey guys, day two class notes. So today um, we are going to be distributing, which is so much fun. I love distributing nice notes to people. Um, so the top here, so if we think about distributing monomial by a polynomial, remember monomial is one term. So if I look at my one example here, my first example I have Outside the parentheses, I have an x, so it's monomial, and I have a, really a binomial, but it's a, it's basically more than one in the parentheses. Um, and if you have exponents uh, inside the parentheses or outside the parentheses, don't forget the product rule, which I have listed up here. So if I have x to the a times x to the b, I, my product rule tells me that I can simply add those exponents. Okay, let's go for it. So if I look here, um, a lot of you have learned about winking and smiling. So if I have my x times print, open parentheses x plus four, close parentheses, I'm gonna wink basically x times x, which is x squared, and then I'm gonna smile, um, which is x times four, and I know x times four is just four x. So some of you probably learned it more like this, wink and then smile like that. Whichever way works is great. Um, so when you have a monomial outside, and then here's another example that now you have three terms, uh, which would be a trinomial if you think about it. Um, I'm gonna be probably doing, I'm gonna do, it uh, looks like maybe two winking, two winkings, <laughs> two winks, and maybe a big smile here. However you think about that, but um, this ultimately would be 15m to the fifth power, right? Because I'm adding those because of my product rule, uh, minus 5m to the fourth power, which is a quartic, right? And then I have minus 35m to the third power, okay? So now it's your turn. Um, if you think about you always have to have these in standard form. So if I look at number one, nothing too tricky there. I have um, k squared, because I'm multiplying k by k, and then I've got nine k, but I'm subtracting it. So I can wink and I can smile. Here, I can wink and I can smile. Here, I can wink and I can smile. I know b times b to the fourth, I'm just going to add um, one exponent, if you think about it, to get um, a negative 6p to the fifth. And then I'm going to multiply um, 8 by 6 to get 48. And I have two negative, um, a negative coefficient here, a negative constant here. So I know I'm going to have a positive now, my p. So um, wink smile. So as you go through this, um, again, nothing uh, inordinately tricky here. So I probably won't go through every single one together. I'm just trying to see if there's anything that's super tricky. Um, the, you know, one of the biggest things, if it, you have more than two terms inside the parentheses, just make sure you distribute each one. Watch your signs each time, especially if you have a negative outside, right? like over there, and a negative inside. Things are gonna get a little trickier, right? Like this one, negative 3m times, if I think about negative 2n here, I know I'm gonna to have to have a positive six n squared. So just look out for the signs. That's the biggest, my biggest piece of advice. Um, anything else kind of tricky here? You got lots of um, x, y here, and then you have a bunch of stuff. So just make sure that you are really careful when you are multiplying and distributing all of these out that you account for all of the x's and all of the y's. And anything tricky there? You got lots of p's and q's. Here, oh dear, it's getting big. So again, this is just really about paying attention. So I have five times negative two, so I have a negative 10 here. And then you have an r to the second power times r to the second power. I know it's going to be r to the fourth power. And then you have an s left over from there, an s squared. So, again, nothing too tricky. Just watch out for the variables and the signs. Okay. And then down here, 
Uh, so you're gonna distribute this out and then it, you're just going to um, deal with, if you think about it, any other expression that might be outside of all of this distributing stuff and winking and smiling. Um, and the essence here is if you, after you distribute, if you find that you have a term that is similar, like you have an X term here, this is an apple. Well, after you distributed this out, you got another apple. It just happened to be eight apples and you have seven apples. So then you can go ahead and combine those two to get 15 apples. So you think about it that way. And then over here, once you, it looks like you have um, two big distributive processes to go through. After you go through these processes of winking and smiling in, in two cases, you are going to end up with, oh, it looks like we have an apple. It happens to be 15 apples and 26 apples that you're subtracting from it, right? Um, those two, it looks like we can go ahead and combine these two. Now, remember, I can't combine the other two because I have something to the second power or a quadratic, and then I have a cubic over here. And then don't forget, you have to put this all in the correct um, standard form, which is the cubic has to go in position one. And I have the quadratic in position two and it's just the linear here, okay? Um, let's see if I can. So again, this is all the class notes. And this is page two of just the class notes that I will keep this on. Uh, it's gonna start getting a little trickier because now we are distributing uh, a trinomial here. And then you're gonna combine like terms and then you're gonna have to put it in standard form. So it's using a lot of the skills that you have learned over the past day and a half, two days. Same with these. Oh, you've got to try here again. Oh, wow. And then you're going to combine a lot of stuff. So this is starting to get really complicated. I'm not going to go through each one. Pause if you need to, but this is, um, becomes a lot of work. If I look at something like this, remember if you're trying to work your way out of an escape room, if you think about it, you always have to work your way out of the smallest box first. So you're going to start with the, um, parentheses here inside the brackets. Don't forget to wink and smile this. Then you combine if you can, and then you're going to distribute this to the bracket. And then last but not least, then you're going to see if you can combine anything there. We've got some geometric applications here. Um, the area of a trapezoid I put here, but it's always half of the height. Remember, this is the height, right? Um, and then you're going to add the bases together. So base one plus base two. Okay. And then you would follow those steps. You're of course going to probably have to distribute out and then combine like terms if you need to, and then put it in standard form, which is the highest degree first. And then down here, if you are trying to find the area of a shaded region, uh, shaded, not the white region. Interesting. So that means you have the the area of the out minus the area of the in, right? Because you are not accounting for this. That's why you gotta get rid of that. You just want the external area. Um, so you're gonna have to find the area, right? Again, of these two shapes, these two um, shapes and then subtract them. Okay. As far as the homework is concerned, um, this should be self-explanatory too. So again, if they look at the top, you're just winking and smiling up here. Wink and smile, wink and smile. Let's keep going, watching out for all your product rules. You're gonna use a lot of those product rules here. Uh, here, you're gonna have a wink and smile, but then you're gonna see if you have another like term and then combine them. Don't forget, you have to write them in the correct degree order in standard form. Same over here. This is all self explanatory Okay, now we have two winks and smiles. So you're going to distribute two times and then see if you can combine 
like terms. Here it looks like you have, uh, you're going to distribute this part and then you have a um, another fun distribution and then find your like terms. Same here. Again, pause it if you need to. Down here, this is basically what I already explained before, but you're going to take the area of the external and then um, subtract the area of the internal. And you're going to get your area of just the shaded region. Okay. And I believe that is, that's it for um, day two. Good luck.